nice to be in St. Louis. We, we are looking forward to uh, being back in this competition as, or, uh, as an organization. Uh, personally, I've, both as a player and a coach, I've been through this dance many a times throughout my career. I've been lucky enough and, uh, we're, again, just really uh, excited. We understand the competition we're uh, up against. They're very, a very good group, particularly early in the season, and, and um, we expect a, a extremely tough match, but one we're, again, we're looking forward to early in the season. Both teams aren't going to be at full steam, and uh, both in rhythm and personnel. Uh, we're, we're, we're down a few guys, but we, we think we're going to put a team out there that's going to be competitive, and hopefully we can get some type of result that sets us up to succeed over the uh, over the uh, the two leg the two leg series. We look for a result. It's no different than any other game. You always want to win, and uh, but if you if you get out of here uh, with something, you know it bodes well for a, a return leg. And uh, so there are some nuances to that, but really, uh, again, we understand it's going to be a, a building that has high energy. Uh, it's always a. a, a a great place to play. We came here last year, and the energy here is really impressive. It's a wonderful addition to this league. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we talk about it. We try to prepare the guys for what's going to be uh, a, a great opportunity and a great venue and uh, to w what to expect from uh, them and, and some of their strengths and weaknesses. So it's not much different than a, a regular season game in how we prepare. Uh, but... Uh, certainly, you, you don't want to let it get away from you, though. Uh, with, with the two-leg game, you know, you got to be a little bit careful with that stuff. But uh, not much is not much changes. We we have a lot. Of, you know, they're new, but we have a lot of information on them. Not necessarily in the preseason. We we understand some of the additions, but uh, we, we don't anticipate them changing how they're going to go about the game. Um, I know Bradley enough, and. I know what he believes in, and uh, so we, we, you can anticipate uh, how they're going to go about uh, the match, in particular at home. Doesn't make it easy. You can understand it as much as you want, but uh, there's still the whistle will blow, and and they what they do, they do it very well. They've got some uh, uh, some personnel, some profiles here that are as good as anybody in the league, and low in it. Um, the big fell up tops, not a lot of fun to go against. Uh, so it, it's, it's, it's a tall task, but one, again, we're looking forward to. Uh, and, and we think we have a team that right now that we can get something out of this. No benefit whatsoever to playing St. Louis as the first game. Uh, yeah, I, we would have preferred maybe going somewhere uh, that was – you know that what the task was was it maybe as daunting, uh, and I think there's some other teams, but this is what it is. This is what we've been dealt. Uh, we're a good side. They're a good side. Uh, you know, when you think of Concacaf, it's it's interesting, right? You know, you're playing St. Louis in the first round of your Concacaf. You know, it's not really all, always how it's been, but it also shows the growth of this league, and you see how many op how many teams have the opportunity now to get into Concacaf. So it's a little bit of a new landscape here where before you always matched up with a Saprisa or a Firpo or somebody um, in Central America or the islands, or and then kind of the Mexican teams came into it at a certain point, and usually it was the U.S. and Mexican teams, and maybe Saprisa. The landscape has changed, and I think it shows uh, the growth of this league and, and the quality that um, some of these MLS groups are putting out now. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled. Right? We're, we're absolutely thrilled that we could – um, keep Coco around at this club. He's a huge part of of, of, uh, uh, of the group, both on and off the field. And uh, he's a huge part of our success last year, and he'll continue to help us uh, every game. He's one of the best players uh, in, in this league. And, again, just happy to continue to work uh, work with him and have him a part of the group.